the drought that we're in right now is undoubtedly the worst drought in Texas history. In July, August, we saw conditions that were far worse than we ever have seen in the past, uh, far worse than the 50s drought. drought has been in place for about 13 months and shows no signs of ending anytime real soon. Combine that with the unprecedented heat this summer, we have seen drought conditions unlike anything uh, in the historical record. We had a tremendous amount of water loss between Bridgeport and Eagle Mountain, uh, which then required that we use more water from Benbrook, driving Benbrook to an all-time record low. At the same time, we increased pumping to account for the drop in terminal storage to a record high now 308 MGD, which is the most the district's ever pumped. And based on the lack of recovery we've seen, we're gonna probably continue at that, that rate until sometime in the springtime, if not end of May. Just depends on the rainfall. Even though we are in the winter months now, the drought does look to persist through the winter. We're not feeling the effects of the heat, but still our, our lakes are low, streams are not running. We, we do live in an area that sometimes goes through some very dry periods, and we only have a finite amount of water, fresh water around, and we have to make that uh, last through these dry periods to get us through that. Uh, the rainfall in October took the West Fork basins from exceptional drought just to a moderate drought. It did fill up a lot of stock tanks. We did see a little bit of runoff. We captured about 15,000 acre feet of water, which is equivalent to about two weeks worth of use in the summertime. Uh, but we're still really in, in a drought. I mean, and that's what people need to realize that uh, we're at 68%, I think, or 69% still dropping. And it's gonna take a lot of water to see that really turn around and, and for us to gain. Until we start seeing significant rains, when we start talking about four or five inches of rain, followed up by another four or five inches of rain, until we start seeing that kind of pattern, we're not going to see a lot of change in the storage of, of our lakes. We're gonna continue very low. Right now, there's real, really no clear end in sight to the drought. Things may start changing by late spring going into next summer, or maybe even, it might be even next fall. But until then, it looks like we're going to be seeing a persistent drought pattern across our area.